So you have Adobe Connect, and you've been hearing a lot about this 9.3 release that's coming soon. We here at Intisolve want to make sure you're ready when the update happens, so you can hit the ground running. For that purpose, we're providing a series of short videos that will explain how this new version of Adobe Connect differs from the one that you're using up till now. Ready? The first thing we want to talk about is screen sharing. Screen sharing has always been one of the primary functions of Adobe Connect. In fact, it's the most widely used feature. The first thing you'll notice is that there's been a change to the Start Screen Sharing dialog box. Where before we had lists of monitors and applications and windows, now we're presented with nice big thumbnails so we can actually see a miniature preview of what we're going to share before we start sharing it. Now I've always loved the way Adobe Connect screen sharing works because I have two monitors and I can have Connect open on one while I share the other. But one of the complaints I've often heard is that when you only have one monitor and you share your screen, the Adobe Connect meeting room automatically minimizes or disappears from the screen, meaning that the person sharing their screen can no longer see the chat, Q&A, attendees, or anything else in the meeting room. With the new version, that little complaint will never be heard again. Here's how it works. When you start screen sharing, the meeting room will still automatically be minimized just like before. But now it will be replaced on the screen with the mini control screen share control panel. This little control panel, while visible to you on the screen that you're sharing, is not visible to your participants. Connect treats it as if it's not even there. So what does this control panel do exactly? Take a look. First, you can see a thumbnail view of what you're sharing. So no more doubts, no more, are you seeing my screen? Especially if you have more than one monitor, you will know which one you're sharing with a glance at the control panel. We also see that the tools to pause and annotate or stop sharing the screen are right there, easy to access. Look at all the buttons along the bottom edge. The one at the far left is your screen share thumbnail. The next one over is your webcam view, so you can see and manage your webcam feeds. With the third button from the left, you can turn your microphone on or off. You have a speaker volume control, the attendees pod so you can manage attendees, a chat pod, and even a place to view notifications when they would normally appear at the upper right of the meeting room like when a guest wants to enter the meeting room or someone raises their hand. But if you're like me and you like to have the full view of the meeting room open on a different monitor, you still can. Just click the Maximize button at the top right of the control panel and the meeting room will return to full size. If you change your mind again, click the Switch to Mini Control button in the Share Pod. If you want to keep the control panel on the screen but make it smaller by removing the preview area, just double click the title bar. Beautiful. This is a great improvement to an already great tool, and I'm really looking forward to using it. There's one additional improvement in the screen share arena, but it has more to do with the audience than the presenter. Attendees viewing a screen share have always had the option of switching from scale mode to zoom in mode, but it was an all or nothing proposition. Either fit the entire screen into the share pod or zoom in to 100% size, but a very small portion of the screen. Now, participants can select from stepped zoom levels. For example, let's assume you're watching while someone else is sharing their screen. You're having a little difficulty reading the text on the screen because it's scaled down so much. It would be nice if it was just a little larger. Just go to the pod options menu and select the next size up. If that wasn't enough of a change, go back and select the next size after that. So you get a little larger view of the screen, but you can still see most of it. So all in all, we're seeing some very nice new screen share tools in Adobe Connect 9.3. Check out our other Adobe Connect 9.3 videos to make sure you're ready for all the great new features. If you don't have Adobe Connect yet, or if you need help getting the most from the platform, you can contact us here at Intisolve using the info on the screen. 